So in the wake of the Paris terror attacks, there's been a lot of talk about Syrian refugees. Now, the attackers weren't Syrian, but nonetheless, uh, the right wants to shut the borders completely. Well, as I said, maybe 25 times now. I mean, I don't know. I really lost count. But in all seriousness, at least four or five times. Uh, there's a middle ground on the issue of immigration and on the issue of taking in refugees. You don't immediately reject every single person. That would be ridiculous because you know you're rejecting a lot of people who need your help and are totally innocent and who have never done anything wrong. But you don't also immediately let everybody in. Happy middle ground. Is that really all that hard to grasp? Apparently for a lot of people it is. So around 2010, uh, in the U.S., we accidentally let in uh, Al-Qaeda guys as refugees from Iraq. And they were in uh, Kentucky. So as a result of that, now they were able to nab them and everything and get rid of them. Uh, but as a result of that, we tightened the vetting process for refugees in response. And now the only way to describe the vetting system we have is impeccable. Now, I'm not one to often give credit to the U.S. government. I don't know if you've watched the show at all. Uh, but this is a case where credit where credit is due, they do a fantastic job looking into the background of people who are coming here as refugees to try to avoid, you know, something like that from happening again. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think that, you know, you're immediately a bigot if you want to take the middle ground and be smart as to who you let in. I think it's just practical and it's intelligent. So I want to explain the system to you, and you can see that there's really nothing to worry about when it comes to letting in refugees, as long as we keep this system in place. Now, to be fair, there are some people who are to the left of me who say that we should copy some of the systems that they have in Europe in certain places where they just say, give me a case file, and that's it, and let them in immediately. And maybe that makes me a dick. I know it slows down the process. I know it makes it so that a lot of good people are going to have to wait really long in order to get in. And maybe I am the bad guy and I'll take that. No problem. But uh, I like the system that we have and I want to give you the details on it. So Kyle Blaine reports on this, quote, The U.S. has one of the most robust security screening processes in the world for potential refugees. Many European countries uh, will accept a refugee application based simply on a case file like I was describing. Uh, the U.S. system works much differently. Fewer than 2,000 Syrian refugees have been admitted to the United States since the start of the Syrian civil war, though the Obama administration said the United States will accept 10,000 refugees in 2016. The complex process takes an average of 18 to 24 months. To gain admittance into the United States, a Syrian must clear all of these steps. Multiple high-level security checks, including... Different government agencies, the FBI being one of them, and there's many others. Biometric screening, uh, a mandatory interview with the Department of Homeland Security, a medical screening, and a cultural orientation program, which consists of videos on housing, employment, education, and hygiene, among other topics. So they go on to say that the only thing that we're, uh, we're missing in the system here is somebody who's on the ground in Syria engaging in a pre-vetting process for the vetting process. Okay, let's not be ridiculous. Let's not be stupid. We have, some could say, the most strict, stringent, uh, robust background check and vetting process to let in any refugees. With a system like this, I would honestly be in favor of increasing the number of refugees that we allow into the U.S. For sure! Now, is it going to be foolproof? No, nothing's foolproof. But, you know, are, is it a risk worth taking where you know that on principle you're doing the right thing because the overwhelming majority of people who are coming are people who are good people and who are not terrorists, who don't want to bring harm to anybody, who just want to have an opportunity and want to have a shot. No, I, I think that's there's a happy middle ground on this. this is, again, I keep repeating myself. Uh, and we should go down that middle ground. Now that you know how we do it, it, it just doesn't make sense to say I'm going to close my eyes and scream no because I'm a petulant child and I'm a baby who's scared. That's what it comes down to, scared Republicans. <laughs> I just love, no, I don't want to help anybody. And isn't it funny that these are the people who say they're the most Christian? 
I believe in the message of Jesus. I want to help everybody, except when it comes to actually practicing that in the real world and people desperately need our help. Well, then no, fuck that. It's so sad. And, uh, of course, it's been basically the polar opposite reaction by a lot of people now. There was a mayor in Virginia who we were just speaking about who was praising the former Japanese internment system. Really? We haven't graduated past that yet? That's what you're going to say? Uh, and then you have Donald Trump who said we need to spy on all mosques. Not, hey, get a warrant for the radical ones, get bad people and lock them up. No, no. So, spy on all mosques, Donald Trump said. And he said we should have identification cards for Muslims. Exactly like the star in, in Nazi Germany. What are you doing? I mean, this is fucking crazy talk. Guys, we need to, in response to the, to the Paris attacks, now none of those people were Syrian, so just keep that in mind. Uh, of course, they were ISIS-affiliated, but they weren't from Syria. They're actually European-born. The proper thing to do is be intelligent and specific in our response. You don't want to say, you know, because uh, bad people exist in the world, therefore we have a pass to kill civilians, and that's fine, like Ted Cruz literally said. No, we need to be smart, intelligent, rational, and stay within our value system as, yes, we get the bad guys who did it. Yes, go after them. But you don't punish people who didn't do it because that would be stupid.